Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the Mighty Four, number 418 by Marvel Comics. And yes, this is again a 90s comics because I have a lot of 90s comics. And for me personally, 90s, mid-2000s, 80s uh, are the best comics. For me anyway. I mean, if you like the newer comics, then you yeah, know, good for you. But for me, uh, the 90s is where all the fun lies because... Um, I, I like the energy that 90s coming brings to the table. Uh, it has great art. Uh, it has, you know, like artists and writers that I, you know, grew up with that I actually liked. And um, although I'm not much, it sounds weird. It's just like with Daredevil. I'm not sure of a, much of a four guy, but sometimes I look at a comic and I see, man, this cover looks so great. I want to see what's, what's happening. And then I just buy the comic, although I don't like the character much. Well, don't like is a big word. It's more like, you know, I'm not really invested in a character, just like Daredevil. Although I just required some new, uh, I, I bought some new Daredevil comics. But that's beside the point. So enough rambling. Uh, let's dive in. <laughs> so we see here, uh, Hercules is getting a beating uh, of a Goliath. And I believe this was the part. Uh, well, I'm going to, you know, show you the next page that... So... Um, Goliath, um, you know, is beating uh, the Prince of Power up uh, along with the Wrecking Crew. And I believe there was the part that, I believe there was an Avengers uh, comic, that his beating was so severe that he was going into a coma. And uh, then he wakes up because he has these dreams. And it seems that he is, you know, has these nightmares for a lot. And then four comes in. Well, not really four. It's more like Eric... M What's going on with the resolution? Just give me a sec. Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. What's going on with the resolution? Not sure. Is this better? Let me try again. Yeah, this is better. So it's Eric Masterson, who is now four. And um, I'm not very familiar, again, with Eric Masterson. I know who he is, but I don't know his, really his background and his, you know, his past or something. But it seems that... Uh, Hercules has troubles lately. He is um, feels weak. He feels not confident, and he has uh, nightmares. And it seems that a time ago that he's forced to battle the high evolutionary, and he was evolved into a state, as you can see here, beyond godhood, and he was merged with the fabric of the black galaxy until he was saved by four. But then. He says that something is missing, something that is was left behind, and it's gnawing at him for a very long time, and he doesn't know how to deal with it, and it makes him angry. And um, he also says, the voice which terrifies me. And then he apologizes because he says, I'm a god, I shouldn't fear anything, but he fears his, his, his weakness or something. He, he lost his, his confidence. So Eric, um, you know, urges to, uh, to, to, you know, Hercules to sleep again and to, you know, take it easy. And then his son comes in. I mean, the son of uh, Eric Masterson. Um, because there's some storyline. Or, or is it Kevin Masterson? No, let me, let me double check. Is it Eric? Eric Masterson. Sorry. So his son, Kevin Masterson, comes in. And uh, it seems there's a storyline about that he and his ex-wife is, is having a dispute who is getting the, the, the child, you know, his son. So there's a storyline dripping into this comic, but I'm not going to talk about it because I don't have much information about that. And it's not really relevant to the rest of the story because I want to highlight the fun um, in this story for once instead of, you know, going from the fun to the bad things, you know. Talking about fun comics is also fun. What's this Bionic Command experience for one I'm on? Okay, not relevant. Let's move on. So we see here the Wrecking Crew is, you know, attacking a, um, what they call a heavily armored mobile confinement container that goes to the vault. For those who not know who the, what's the vault is, the vault is a prison for uh, superpowered beings. So they're attacking and they are breaking in and they want to uh, release, on you know, uh, I mean, that's what I thought it was. They're releasing record, the leader. But then um, his, he says that uh, Thunderball is his name. 
says, hey, we don't come here for you. We come for your enchanted crowbar because it's the source of his power and that makes him uh, as powerful as Wrecker. But Wrecker says, no, that's, uh, that's not the case. It seems that the crowbar is only the conduit and that his energy is in him and nobody can take that away. And the power is coming from... He has, has guardian powers as well. His, his powers come from Asgard. I'm not... I forgot how, how that went and how they got their powers because that's probably somewhere in the 80s, maybe 70s. I'm not entirely sure. Probably 80s. Uh, I missed that part. But, you know, there's some connection with his guardian powers and, and that's why they are battling for all the time. And um, so they are... Uh, he's free again and he says to... Uh, um, Thunderball says, hey, you know what? It's, it's, it's fine. I mean, um, he isn't mad because... You know, a lot of people try to usurp his place and then he reaches out to, uh, you know, give him a hand and then he crushes just the hand of, of Thunderball. And then his companion that is also here in the in the mobile armor rolling thingy is getting freed and his name is Ulik. And, you know, four uh, fans know who Ulik is. He's a, uh, and also another foe of uh, four. Uh, skipping a few pages and a lot of us say Double Dragon. It's a long time ago. So they are teleporting to, I don't know, the city, New York. I don't know. I don't know what the city is in it. And it seems that Ulrich is uh, teaching Wrecker some new tricks that he hasn't know that he had. You know, uh, he can use his powers to teleport and uses, again, his um, crowbar as a conduit. So they are waiting for Hercules. So I'm not sure how they are, uh, you know find him but it seems that the crowbar is some kind of a radar or magnet um so and they are basically attacking him and surprising him and then again they kicking his ass and he, he says no no it cannot be and then somehow um not sure how he do this but record releases some as guardian flare and i believe that's in purpose because Eric Masterson sees that flares from the outside on his window in his house and he transforms into four and he, uh, he comes uh, to the place where, uh, where the foes are. And, well, Wrecker attacks him and there's going to be a battle. But then he four says, sees that uh, Hercules is very, very weak and he seems helpless. So... Instantly, normally he would just try, try to free his friend, but then he realizes that if he's going to do that, um, it only fuels the loss of confidence that Hercules has, has now. And, you know, also Aiden is some kind of a disgrace because as guardians and, and um, Olympians, because that's what Hercules is, he's an Olympian, has those old values of disgrace and heroism, etc., so what this four is doing, four is actually on purpose losing the battle. And maybe he, you know, on purpose, I'm not entirely sure because it's four against one. But um, he loses, he's getting his ass kicked. And then, as you can see here, Hercules sees what they are doing with his friend. And he basically, you know, regain his confidence and his strength. And then he is kicking everybody's ass. And I must say... Ron Francis' art looks fantastic. It looks really cool. Like I said, 90s comics, to me personally, again, it brings a lot of energy and, and, and kinetic energy and dynamic um, to the table. And I really love that. I mean, if you see this and this and this here, it's really exciting to look at. It is. And um, Although you can say, well, it's it's just a story about people kicking their asses. Well, that's what superhero comics is. The good guys against the bad guys and the good guys win or not. And that depends on the story. And that brings some kind of a joy into, in, in me, right? And although I like, I like deep storytelling as well, I enjoyed it very much. But sometimes stories like this, you know, people kicking other people's asses, it's fun. It's just fun. That's what comic is for me is. And some kind of a an escape from reality. And then we see here also for joining the fold. And it's great to see. And also the aggressiveness uh, of Wrecker because he, won, he w doesn't want to give up. And uh, But then they realize they are 
are no match for them and they are, you know, teleporting away. And that's basically the end of the book. And then we see here uh, the Prince of Powers shouting that they are, and he's going to find them. And uh, he basically thanks for, you know, for his help and that he has, you know, regained his consciousness. And then he, uh, he is back. Hercules is back. And that's the end of this story. And there's also another story about Tales of Asgard. I'm not, you know, going into that much as well, because again, this is a continuation of um, stories and, 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 you know, that I don't have much knowledge about. And it looks great, but, you know, I'm not going into that. So, yeah, I'm just sticking with the main series. Um, the Mighty Four, this series, it's fun, it's cool, I like it. And, you know, it brings us to the end of the video. It's not sort of something special, but it's something fun to look at it. And I must say, Ron Franz is a very good um, um, artist. And uh, I have a lot of more for comics from him, so I'm going to look into that. So, guys, thank you for watching as always. Have a great Sunday. I'll see you next time.